Hey guys, I know the screen's a bit off with this on here, but unfortunately you're going to have to deal with it. I can't be bothered to put some fancy stuff around the outside. So yeah, basically I just wanted to bring you guys information that a new patch went live on Black Ops 3 for Xbox One and PC. Which is um, obviously support for the Awakening DLC content coming soon, which is tomorrow, March 3rd, which I cannot wait for. I'm going to be home early from uh, uni because it's not a long day, so I will be playing it quite soon after. So I won't have the Eisendracker um, and multiplayer content going up tomorrow. Probably the next week or two um, will be solo easter egg attempts going up, stuff like that. So yeah, hope you guys look forward to that. But let's get straight into this update information. So here it says addressed addressed some issues where dark matter cameras were not appearing on black market weapons. Bloody bloody blah. People know these were glitched. Stuff like that. Also, gold and diamond not unlocking on the MX Grand and the Marshall 16, which I don't have any of them guns. So also resolved an issue with the wrong item image appearing in supply drops for the Reaper Geist. Uh, bug with the bayonet, wrong picture. Um, the bayonet was showing, uh, I think it was fast mags or something like that, in the arena. Uh, if you guys seen my video about the new weapons that were implemented into Black Ops 3, you would see that that image was wrong when we saw that. Um, also, uh, fixed an issue where the wrong image was displayed for the site as well, the new LRX3 site as well. Um, the kill counter uh, and the uh, clan tag prestige thing has been changed. It's now orange and it sits off of the gun. Um, it's definitely better. It's more easily visible as well. Also, they fixed the white image that was appearing instead of the Fury Song's kills. So that block of white you would get instead of Fury Song appearing in the kill feed. Uh, where the Fury Song icon was displaying a kill feed whenever a player received a kill with a combat knife. Don't know why. I've never seen that in my life. This... I play hardcore. This is brilliant for hardcore. Added ricochet damage for care package owners in hardcore mode. So basically when you're calling in a care package, people used to shoot you so they could take your care package to take your good kill streaks. I've lost raps, I've lost flipping haters, GI units, I've lost every sort of kill streak to people just doing that. I've never played search and destroy on hardcore so I've never had to deal with the bomb carrier being killed, score streaks, uh, the wraith can be killed with one less rocket that has been patched, rolling thunder being seen by people on minimap without engineer, blah de blah de blah, uh, basically exploits, uh, yeah, sitting in the yellow tube apparently was an exploit uh, with spawns or something like that, uh, the ICR has increased accuracy and now it has less recoil, can you actually see that on the screen, yes you can, the iron gym was fixed because uh, someone did a video saying that the iron gym has a different um, consecutive attack speed so when you're hitting from one person to another it was doing quicker attack speed than every other weapon melee weapon so they updated it to make sure it was more in par with every other melee weapon so yeah that's a good thing uh, fixed an issue where players were unable to earn progress towards chameleon when using the uh, Verix free site uh, I had that problem with my snipers and I didn't even notice it was a thing until it was five kill streaks in and I still didn't have any kill streaks on it. I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. Um, also, Marshall 16 progression counted towards the MR6s when dual wield. Never, never use the, M the Marshall 16 because I've never been able to pick it up and I don't have it. Run and gun procedure challenge would not track if players got killed while dual wielding using gung ho. Uh, don't use either of them perks to tell truth uh, chameleon we're unable to earn progress towards chameleon if dual wield I had that problem as well with the pistols I've now obviously got dark matter all of this stuff you can read this stuff if you want to quickly pause the video here I'm not going to cover the arena stuff the main stuff I wanted to cover was actually zombies so they fixed an exploit in the daily challenge system, which I don't know how there was an exploit in the daily challenge system. I never saw any sort of exploit with it, but you know. This fixed an issue where players could trigger the rocket shield uh, when Gumball, or have Gumballs when the score screen was up. I, I, I don't know that one either. Fixed issue where the blank daily challenge card would appear in after action report at the end of the local game. Um, I never play local or offline, so... I, that that doesn't that hasn't happened to me. Fix an issue where double XP meter did not accurately reflect the amount of XP earned after the match, which is true because it always showed the 
single amount of XP, not the double. Um, alternative ammo types. This one I'm a bit iffy about. I haven't I haven't done any research into it, like kind of. And um, alternative ammo types have received a balancing pass. So does that mean that all the ammo types have been nerfed? Or does it mean that things like Blast Furnace has been nerfed? and um, things like Deadwire have been increased or buffed because Deadwire kills about three zombies with one Deadwire although it does come back quite, quite rapidly uh, but has that been buffed to the state of Blast Furnace? Can I shoot electric at one zombie and it kill a whole group of zombies now? I doubt it. They've probably just decreased Blast Furnace and increased the others a little bit like fireworks they could they probably decrease that one as well because that one literally kills a whole group of zombies as well uh, Blast Furnace and fireworks are the most powerful but fireworks doesn't give you the kills whereas Blast Furnace does which is a big problem because it makes the game too easy and it makes getting kills too easy so yeah obviously Dead Ops Arcade 2 fixed a bug with firepower blah de blah de blah you can pause it if you want to look at Dead Ops Arcade 2 I've never really gotten into Dead Ops Arcade, I'm more of a shoot them in the face than shoot them in the top of the head sort of guy. So um, yeah that was basically an update. Also there's one thing that someone said, I think it was NoahJ456 said in one of his videos that wasn't on this patch note which is that they have now fixed it so if you're sprinting and a zombie slaps you uh, it doesn't stop your sprint which means that you can carry on sprinting and get out of danger basically because before you could be running a zombie would hit you you would stop and they would maul you to death whereas now they hit you and you carry on going so you're alright so hopefully that increases the quality of the game this patch is now out for Black Ops 3 on Xbox One and PC so make sure to go and update before you try and install DLC well not install the DLC before you try and play the DLC tomorrow because otherwise you're going to have to wait for this update so yeah also one thing not related to Call of Duty, I just saw this as I was scrolling through my Twitter feed. EA just released, uh, I revealed that both Titanfall 2 and Battlefield 5 will release before Christmas but Mass Effect's been delayed. So yeah, so Titanfall 2 and Battlefield 5 come in this year guys. That's great news, really good news. So yeah, um, also the place I got the intel from that for was... Uh, charlieintel.com or at charlieintel I will be tweeting this video at them just as a kind of thanks for making this video possible sort of thing so yeah thank you for watching people like and very if you did enjoy this uh, update like description sort of thing if you want to see more of these in the future make sure to leave a like like and very if you enjoyed subscribe to the course today and I will see you next time thank you and bye bye